Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm going to do a really quick update on this uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation situation. Did you ever get so tired of talking about a show or a, a movie before it comes out that you've lost all interest in even watching it? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at right now uh, with this show. Now, Geeky can't be on. She's actually uh, getting some testing done this morning, so hopefully everything uh, everything turns out okay there. But um, yeah, so let's you know for those of you who are new who haven't watched the uh, the Masters of the Universe Revelation drama unfold i'll give you a really quick recap uh, about two or three months ago um i put a tweet out just a tweet not a video just a tweet uh saying that we had somebody who worked on the show or worked around someone who worked on the show come to us and say they had concerns about the direction of the show now i can confirm that the source does work in and around the animation industry and does have connections to people who work on this show so even still i decided you know we weren't going to do a video about it we we're just going to put a tweet out there and be like my god if this is true people aren't going to be real happy and the understanding was that the he-man series from the alleged alleged insider is that he-man is going to be sidelined in favor of tila being the protagonist of the show and that she's going to have a girlfriend and if this is true this is not going to play well for fans of classic masters of the universe put the tweet out there didn't think much of it went about my day uh kevin smith answered and was like hell no that's not true uh but not only was he like yeah that's not true but um, he said, you know, a showrunner, he could use the suggestions before they locked the script. No, uh, he does not step aside. Tila does not have a girlfriend. Uh, and it's pretty dark. And also, instead of posting your faux insider info, here's a real story. Tags Mattel. That was a very curious thing to do. Tags Mattel talked about this behind the scenes video, which is no longer available. So I'm like, okay, fine. We did a follow-up video, and we're like, okay, well, you know, we'll believe Kevin Smith, whatever. Uh, life goes on. Again, we never made a video about the rumor in the first place. We're just like, oh, God, if this is true, this is not going to go over well. You know, of course, it's believable, not only because of the source, uh, where I got the rumor from, but because this has been a trend in pop culture is to basically run our heroes through the mud, drag them through the mud drag him through the dirt you know we're seeing it now with luke skywalker uh we've seen it on you know countless occasions over the past couple of years that our childhood heroes have to be knocked down a peg or two uh picard literally is about knocking jean-luc picard down a peg or five you know so of course it's believable we'd be like well yeah of course he man's gonna be sidelined or uh pussified or something because we can't have 1980s he-man you know, which was a symbol for masculinity. Uh, we cannot have him uh, be the way he is current year. And uh, I even joked with Geeky when they announced him, like, oh God, I, I don't know how this is going to go because He Man is incredibly problematic current year, isn't he? Uh, isn't he? He's uh, very hyper masculine. So even though if you watch the 80s cartoon, uh, he, was, he was a much kinder, gentler figure than he was in the toys and comics. But, um,. Anyway, anyway, we put the clarification video out there. We're like, fine, whatever. Uh, it's over. Don't care. Moving on. Along comes Screen Rant. <laughs> you know, like yesterday, day before. And they put an article out there by a staff writer who has a degree in journalism. And uh, apparently this guy's, you know, one of their, he's not a stringer. He's like a legit staff writer. At Screen Rant, and they put out an article talking about what they knew about He-Man so far. Now, they have changed this article. Yesterday, or the day before, they published it saying that, yes, Tila was actually going to be the protagonist, and He-Man was going to be sidelined. Screen Rant put this out. So, of course, I got a little salty because I'm like, we went through so much crap. So much crap just putting a tweet out there. A tweet, not an article, not a video. Just a tweet, the rumors we were hearing, and here comes freaking Screen Rant with their staff writer 
saying pretty much the same damn thing. So yeah, uh, I got a little pissed off. I'm like, what the hell? I guess we were right, huh? Because this is coming from Screen Rant. You can believe Screen Rant over YouTube uh, because they're Screen Rant and they're members of the trusted media. Um, so they did change the article uh, today. They took out the part about TLL. Let's see if they have it up here. Um, here's, here's what was originally originally stated. One major difference is, though He-Man will still be around, he won't be the main protagonist anymore. Instead, the focus will be on Tila. Uh, not disclaimed with what we think we know, not disclaimed with, uh, you know, this is what we're hearing, but stated as a matter of fact from Screen Rant by one of their feature writers. So here's the thing. A lot of these websites do have a lot of information on the down low because they they circulate in hollywood so i was like what the hell what the hell we had to go through a bunch of shit because i put out a tweet didn't even make a video and here comes screen rant uh and i even had a disclaimer i said if what we're hearing is true people aren't gonna like it and here comes fucking screen rant uh stating it like it's matter of fact so i was a little salty i was a little salty about that you know, because we see the difference. Uh, if, it's, if it's YouTube, it's all lies. If it's the media, uh, you have to believe it. So Kevin Smith uh, responds. He responds. He said, with all due respect to Screen Rant, I've read every Masters official script for our shows, and he wrote a few and viewed four amazing animatics. While Tila is present, as she's always been in Masters of the Universe Adventures, and she does play a big role, our series is literally all about He-Man. Well, I'm going to hold you to that, Kevin Smith, because even, even at PowerCon last year, they put this up, uh, which I'd forgotten about, actually. I, I didn't even remember it. Geeky did, and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, after a ferocious final battle, Fractures Eternia, it's up to Tila to solve the mystery of the missing sword of power in a race against time to prevent the end of the universe. Her journey will uncover the secrets of Grayskull at last. This is the epic He-Man and the Masters of the Universe saga fans have waited 35 years to see. Actually, we saw it with 2002 He-Man, where we had the origin of He-Man and Grayskull and Hordak and all of that. Even though it was a different continuity, it was it was pretty cool. So I'm looking at the responses here. Even back then, even from the uh, reveal at PowerCon, it was clear people had concerns about Tila being uh being the main character because it does sound very much like she is now again i'm telling you information that we got from an insider i can vouch uh who they work with who they work around uh the information is months old but what they were telling me was that yeah this is actually the direction they were going in now i did uh tweet back i said here's hoping i said i want to believe we said before we were actually very excited about this show uh, my excitement for this show has has waned, not just because of the plot. I mean, the show might be good. We know Powerhouse Animation is good. The voice cast is solid. But my excitement has waned because it's one of those things where we have now talked about this thing so much that I don't know if I give a shit anymore. I'm going to be completely honest. I am just like, I don't even know if I care. By the time it comes out, it's probably going to feel like we've already seen it. Uh, you know, this happened with The Rise of Skywalker. We reported on rumors. We talked about the behind the scenes drama. And by the time the movie came out, uh, neither one of us gave enough of a shit about it to bother to go see it. I still haven't seen it. We sat it out opening weekend. First time we ever sat out a live action Star Wars movie. And uh, we we still haven't seen it. It's on Disney Plus. We can watch it anytime we want to. We don't care enough to even watch it because we've talked about it so much and we know how it goes. And uh, yeah, I just don't care anymore now here's what's interesting though and geeky brings this up um she says how do we know they ain't changed stuff after we questioned it i don't know uh, that's the thing we'll never know um this this happened uh, something similar to this happened about 12 13 years ago when transformers first came out and they had the the megatron head design and people were outraged about it for some reason i don't know why uh one of my blog posts got singled out and uh, one of the producers on Transformers got really, really pissed off about me saying, hey, guys, you really should listen to the fans more. Uh, this doesn't look like Megatron. It looks like a giant metal monster with a vagina mouth. What were you thinking? I was I thought I was pretty, pretty even keel about it, but he kept going after me. It was like, what the hell? Found out after the fact that he was doing that because he was trying to send a signal to Paramount to be like, guys, you really need to rethink 
what Michael Bay is doing with the movie. Because uh, at that point, I guess he'd been sort of pushed out of it. So who the hell knows why Kevin Smith is zeroing in on us? I mean, in one breath, people say YouTubers don't matter. and the other breath, they're like, you know, those damn YouTubers, they're ruining everything. You know, so who the hell knows? Uh, so it's possible they maybe Mattel had plans that they were going to go all in on a Tila show uh, guest starring He-Man and... Uh, you know, maybe Kevin Smith is like, yeah, people aren't going to like this, Mattel. See? See? Who the hell knows? Um, I also said that, yeah, it's possible Screen Rant didn't have the right information. Uh, now, this is what rankled Geeky, and I agree. She says, I want to know why it's with all due respect for Screen Rant, but we get the insults. Uh, but they get what they got, and we got rudeness. At least we said it was a rumor they didn't. That is true. We disclaimed everything. This is a rumor. But again, since we are just YouTubers, just lowly YouTubers, and not the trusted media, uh, everything they say is gospel, and everything we say is lies. Lies! That's all YouTubers do. You know, this guy brings this up in the comments. This Bip Bopper corrects everything anybody's saying. Uh, Bip Bopper here goes on and on about He-Man in Castlevania, but has no, has no followers. And all the people they're following are all blue checks. Uh, they're all blue checks. Dwayne Johnson, uh, Barack Obama. Actually, Barack Obama follows me. Believe it or not, Barack Obama follows me. And about a half a million other people, too. Mark Hamill, uh, Grace Randolph, um, you know, bunch of movie people, but no followers. And they spend all their time talking about how great this show is going to be. What's this? Apparently, someone's back on the payroll. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. So who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Um. Anyway, so that is that is the official report again. So this is two times now that Kevin Smith has denied that the new Masters of the Universe show will be about Tila, uh, primarily, and not about He Man. So time will tell. I know I'm tired of talking about it. Uh, whatever excitement I have for the show has completely waned at this point. And I'm only giving an update because he gave an update. And now we've got two two times uh, Kevin has denied that He-Man is not about He-Man, but will be about Tila. So time will tell. We're not going to see the show for a while, I guess. Uh, even though production is continuing on animated projects, we're probably not going to see this until next year because of the, uh, the shutdown. Uh, but there you go. Two times now, Kevin Smith says, nope, not about Tila. So if it turns out to be about Tila, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's this is out there, too. We will see what happens. Hopefully it's good. You know, hopefully the show is good. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.